Today we're in the kitchen with Matt Zagorski, chef and owner of the Hickory Lane Bistro in Philadelphia. Uh, what are we going to be cooking today on set? Well, I figure because it's getting a little warmer and it's that time of year, we're going to use some Jersey blueberries and uh, some scallops to uh, make a ceviche. Beautiful. Let's get started. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to, uh, there's a ginger aspect to this that I'm going to make basically like uh, infused ginger liquid. It's okay. Really uh, intense to do that. I'm going to use fresh ginger. It's, uh, it's fun and like I said, it's uh, it can be very refreshing for uh, this time of year. Great summer time uh, dish. To finish this off, I'm going to use some of the uh, Duro. Oh, the Duro, yes. Uh, crushed ginger. Okay, so we're going to sort of reinfuse with the crushed ginger in the yeah, slice. Yeah, just to give it a little uh, extra oomph. These are a great individually portioned flash frozen products that you come and get right from your grocery store. Absolutely, they work great. Uh, so we're just going to do enough water to cover this, and then you just want to put some heat on this. Okay. And um, Basically, what you want to do is let that simmer. You don't really want it to boil. Mm -hmm. You just want it to just simmer, just to, in, yeah, just to infuse the flavor. Okay. It's going to take about 40 to 50 minutes. All right. Uh, and then what we're going to do is cut our scallops. Uh, I always use U-tents. Beautiful, big scallops. Pretty big guys. Yeah. Uh, these are day boats, which means they mm -hmm. are 48 hours caught. Where do you when, get your fish from? I get my fish from Tony McCarthy. Okay. Which, uh, for me, is quite a treat. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad uh, I have a good relationship with him. That's great. Uh, just now, so just so we don't get dirty here, I'm going to slip on my apron. I don't want to ruin this beautiful dress I got from the Knitwit stores. <laughs> Do you like my dress? Oh, your dress looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So you're just doing these in a little dice? Yeah, I like to do small dice, nothing okay. too big. Uh, it's Obviously, you want to let your acid cook these. Mm -hmm. So the larger you cut it, the longer it would have to sit. So right. it's going to make an olive minute preparation a okay. little harder exactly. in the restaurant. Yes. Uh, if you were having friends over or something like that and you wanted mm -hmm. to do it, you could obviously mix some up. Do it the uh, night could, before? Yeah, or? you could cut it a little mm -hmm. larger and it wouldn't, because basically if you get too much acid on these for too long, it turns into rubber. Right. Too hard to so, chew and absolutely. nobody likes that. So basically what we're going to do, uh, something else that's important here, whenever you're using raw fish, mm -hmm. you want to make sure ice. Got to keep you it want cold. everything mm -hmm. extremely cold. So that's a great tip. Just put a bowl and another bowl of ice underneath. Yep. All right. So we just want to finish dicing these up. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do before we come over here and assemble okay. is we're just going to puree these blueberries. Oh, all right. Do you mind if I taste one of those? Yeah, one of the ones that fell? Absolutely. Mm. Nothing like a Jersey blueberry. They're the sweetest berries you're ever going to find. So then you just want enough liquid to get these going. So just a little water in there. Good. Now the blueberries are pretty acidic, so is that going to kind of uh, work with the vinegar to be the acid that cures It will. These? What I normally do is, and I'll, I'll show you when we build this, okay. is you want to puree this pretty good because uh, you want to get the skins incorporated. The okay. skins are almost like your grapes where there's like a it's little... Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's going to give you a little bite to that too. Nice. All right. So what we're going to do now is now we have our scallops. We always mm -hmm. want to keep this cold. Uh, we're going to add our salt and pepper. Of course. To get this cooking. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to add a little bit of this, not too much. So we'll get that yeah. in there. And then if you want to, of course. you could actually just start to slowly mix that up All right, we'll while do. we get the rest of our ingredients going here. I like to start with just the salt, pepper, and the blueberries to okay. see where the natural flavor of the blueberry leaves us really before, we start to, yeah. before we start to build it. So tell me a little bit about the menu at Hickory Lane Bistro. Hickory Lane uh, has been a lot of fun. We opened mm -hmm. in December. Uh, the cool part about it is I do the menu every day. So it changes every day? Um, not fully, okay. but I'd say weekly we're looking at six to nine new dishes. Awesome. All over there. We're mm -hmm. changing the soups constantly. Um, and it just, uh, it keeps it fun for me at the same time. Definitely. And hopefully, you know, gives something cool for the customer to come in and look at. There's, uh, we run two soups, three salads, mm -hmm. uh, six or seven apps, and then eight or nine entrees. Nice. And uh, it's always, you know, and it, like I said, it keeps it good for me because I can base it around what I can get. Right. You so know. you're always keeping fresh, local, yeah. seasonal as much as and possible. And then I can run something. Mm -hmm. When it runs out, I go to something else. And it's not, you know, there's always something new for you to look at, especially it's, it's you know, a little more of a neighborhood place. It's not downtown. Um, so I like to keep it new for the, uh, you know, the people in the neighborhood. So we added our chives. Okay. Got your salt, your pepper in there. Nice, finely chopped chives. You yeah. got some shallots working here. Yeah, and then we're just going to do some shallots. Just a little more... Uh, I guess a refined flavor. They're, yes. they're sweet. a little bit more of a punch. And... Absolutely. Now, is this something that's on your menu currently? Uh, this actually was on the menu last week. Okay. Uh, right now, we're doing a honeydew melon and cucumber version. Ooh. 
uh, which is really, really good. Like I said, we're always changing it up. Yeah. There's some steak tartare on there right now. Do you have a ceviche on the menu? Uh, as the summer comes, yeah, yeah we definitely. will. And it, uh, it just all depends. Like the honeydews were really good this week. So, so we you got, did honeydew. We did honeydew. That's a sign of a great chef. You can adapt your recipes to the different ingredients that you have available. Oh, and to me it's fun. Yeah, You great. know, And that's what you want to keep doing. You work too long and too hard to not mm -hmm. have something to motivate you. Well said. All right, so then this is just some mint leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to add these at the end. First thing we're going to do though right now, let's see where this leaves us. There's no acid in there right now. Right. Would you like to try that? Very flavorful right now. Now there's mm -hmm. some natural acid mm -hmm. from the blueberries in there. So you wanted to taste that first. It's almost there. I could eat it just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost there. So then you do just... Is that red wine vinegar? Yep, just a shot. So you got that going right now. Now mm -hmm. this mint here is going to just... That's going to be the last pop you get. Obviously, that, the ginger that's going to go on top unique, will be your very unique, distinct uh, flavor. Absolutely. Who's going to add to the freshness of it? And you just want to shift and add that. And Are you one. open seven days a week? Absolutely. Lunch, dinner, brunch on the weekends. Brunch on the weekends, awesome. Yeah. And are you BYOB or do right you have now? Right now, we uh, the liquor license is posted. Oh, great! So uh, hopefully, uh, very shortly, we'll have the bar, and uh, we'll, well be congratulations fully. on that. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. So uh, you want to make sure these are cold also. Definitely. Yeah, Anytime yeah. you're serving something cold, it should always go in a cold plate. In a perfect plate. world. This is <laughs> going to be our little uh, fun trick of the day here. OK, I like fun tricks. <laughs> uh, the ginger broth that yep. we have simmering. This is a finished product. And it smells so fragrant. It's a finished product in here. OK. I'm going to use a uh, soy derivative called lecithin, which at home, um, it's in, I'd say, 35 to 40% of foods that you would eat at your house. Um, was mm -hmm. originally uh, started to use and extracted in like the 1840s, like yeah. uh, chemist-wise. Uh, but what happens is this uh, stabilizes proteins. Okay. So the easiest way I always explain it to people, the stuff that when your candy bar melts, yep. that keeps it from breaking from cocoa butter to cocoa powder, mm -hmm. is soy lecithin. Soy lecithin. Yeah. Okay, good to um, know. But what it's going to do today is you have your traditional uh, froth or foam. Mm -hmm. When you add this to it, it actually sort of stabilizes it, and you can get something called uh, bubbles. Which you'll see it start to come. So does that dissolve in the liquid? Yep. And then that's just going to be a uh, like a ginger effervescence on top. So what happens is that's going to sit like that. When you let it sit, a lot of the air comes out of it, and okay. in, and in turn it turns into like these bubbles that'll hold for up to wow. 20, 25 minutes. So it really allows you to give yeah. a last ending uh, aspect to something you're doing. So what Great. we're gonna do here is, here's your ceviche. Mm. It's got a beautiful color. It looks like jewels. A little, yeah. like amethyst. It does a little bit. You're gonna pop this right the on top. The ginger foam on top. And that's... It's like whipped cream on, on a blueberry ice cream, it looks like. <laughs> and then that is just straight ginger flavor if you want. Beautiful. If you would like to try it. Mm. Straight ginger flavor. You're exactly right. <laughs> and there it is. It's uh, blueberry scallop ceviche oh, with mint good. and ginger. Well, this looks so delicious. I can't wait to taste the whole package together. Now, you recommend eating with a fork or should you get in here with a spoon? Uh, you'll be fine with that. All right. I can make do. <laughs> mm. Yum. The ginger foam on top adds such a nice complement to the whole thing. It really brings it together. And that punch of red wine vinegar really helps out with the acid. Absolutely. Yum. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. It's really been a pleasure. 